I was gonna say good morning, but it doesn't really matter to you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tag video and tag videos are like so, I feel like old school YouTube and I haven't done tag videos in such a long time and I'm so excited. I like never really do the tags if they ever come out because I don't really know why, <laughs> I just don't. But I'm gonna do this one today. I'm joining up with all of my amazing friends here on YouTube um, and we're all just gonna do this tag. So I will have everyone else's video linked down below. Darren is the one who um, made up this whole video. Love Darren. Um, yeah, so this is like an end of the year tag video. I have all the questions here. I'm gonna say like everyone else. I have the questions here on my phone. So if I looked out on my phone, that's why. Uh, I was gonna put them on the screen, but honestly, the editing will be so much easier if I just have them here. I would also love if you did the video too, to be able to see you do it. So I will have all the questions um, typed up in the description box. So if you want to do it, then you can um, copy and paste them and then just make sure you give Dan, Dan? Darren some credit um, for making this. So question number one, I'm gonna try to fly through these. Where and what do you teach? I teach in Southern California currently and I teach second grade currently this year, um, but I am um, moving um, this summer. Um, question number two, how much of your year was fully remote versus hybrid versus fully in person? So basically what was my school year? So we were fully remote up until March 15th. And then March 15th, um, we went to hybrid model. We were doing like an A and B style. So I had groups of kids Monday, Tuesday, a group of kids Wednesday, Thursday, and then the afternoon was virtual. So the morning time was the only time they came. That only lasted for a couple weeks and then um, CDC had changed some guidelines so we were able to have more kids in the class at one time. So now I just have one um, group of students who comes Monday through Thursday in the morning and then afternoon they're virtual. I have about 16 kids who come to the classroom. Um, question number three, what are you planning to do on that first weekend of summer break? Um, I'm going to be moving so I'm pretty much, I don't know our schedule yet but I think we'll be leaving like right that first weekend. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, how does your summer morning routine differ from your school year morning routine? School year morning routine, I am up at least this school year. I've been up at four. I get up, I work out before Eloise gets up. I get myself ready. She wakes up around 6.30, between 6.30 and 7. Um, so I'm able to get my workout, get myself ready and everything like that. And then spend a little bit of time with her before I head to work. Um, and my morning will pretty much like be the same uh, with the exception of like, I probably won't wake up as early. I'll probably wake up more, like my sleeping in is like five or six. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably still get up and like work out though because um, it's just easier to do it when she's asleep. What's on your read list? Honestly, nothing. Um, I probably won't get too much reading. Ever since I had her, I just don't have the time as much to read anymore. And I could make the time. It's not that I don't have the time. It's that I'm just not making the time for it, to be honest with you. Um, I'd rather just like sit and just like veg out and watch a show when I have that time at night. So um number six what's on your watch list again um not really much i haven't really seen anything that's really been interesting me i do want to finish the circle at some point and then i've just been obsessed with like house shows like hgtv stuff because i'm like in that process of life again um i feel like anything i'm watching is usually has to do with like what um kind of like point of life i'm in i also just watch a lot of youtube to be quite honest um, what have you been putting off for months that you hope to do during the summer? Um, I don't think anything this year. In past, I would definitely have something I could say, but this year, because like I'm in the process of moving and all that, I feel like my entire summer is going to be taken up by that. So I, I don't I guess I really have anything. Um, yeah. Do you have a summer job or a side hustle? Um, no. I, in the past, I've done like nannying and stuff like my first couple years of teaching. And then um, now it's just been like YouTube, social media stuff during the summertime. And just like all that comes with that because it's a lot of work when I'm like doing it um, consistently. I have not been consistent, but I'm hoping to try to get back to some consistency. But it's just hard, it's hard. What is your ideal self-care summer day? 
spending the day by the pool with a friend, um, drinking some sparkling waters and just hanging out in the sun. Um, that is definitely my like perfect ideal summer day. Um, what is your favorite thing to do outside? Uh, probably just go for walks. I love to go for walks. I take Eloise in the stroller. I used to take Axel like walking on the leash, but I can't do with both of them because <laughs> Axel's not a very good walking dog. So I could only go like at times of the day when there wasn't people really around. Um, but now he's like even more protective with having the baby. So yeah. Um, favorite thing to do in, or actually I guess go in the pool too. I guess that'd be an outside thing. Um, we love to just hang out by the pool. Both of our parents have pools. Um, so we've kind of like grown up like having a pool around and we love having a pool and actually our new house has a pool um like in the community um that we can use so i'm super excited about that uh favorite thing to do inside i don't know <laughs> like just hang out with eloise um it's kind of whatever she wants to do we just like to play and like i always like to push her around in her little she has like little, um, a horse that has like wheels on it. And um, now she actually has two of them. One of them is like, she can kind of do more on her own than the other one. And we just like to like push her around and she loves it um, just to like hang out. Uh, and then the last question, what profession of development do you want to do, if any? So want to do, I feel like is different than like have to do. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything planned that I like want to do. Um, this summer, I feel like it's kind of just like a weird summer. It's like the summer where I feel like everyone just needs a break who's a teacher. Like take the summer off and like not do anything teaching related. But I do have like professional development for my new district that I will start doing end of july at some point i think we go back um so i have no idea what that professional development will look like but i do have like professional development I, I will be doing with my new school so um that is it i flew through those it is seven minutes and i that's not with even like editing stuff out so pretty proud of myself here also do you like my earrings because myra's probably watching this and myra gave them to me and my sweater i met up with her yesterday and you guys have no idea who myra is but she's probably watching this so hi myra <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go have a wonderful day whatever day you're watching this and make sure if you do this video you um tag darren all the questions down below make sure to go check out everyone else's video um i like so many people are doing it. i don't even know of everyone who's doing it but a bunch of people are going to do it too and i'm curious to see like their answers and stuff just kind of a fun little video and tag videos are kind of fun because it's like I don't have to think too much. So <laughs> have a good day and thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.